Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm with the beautiful luxury community of the Canyons at Scenic Loop. I really like this community. So many hills and uh, beautiful landscapes. They do have some one acre lots, but mostly half acre lots, but some gorgeous luxury homes. Speaking of which, the one behind me was built in 2019 by Partners in Building. It is almost 4,000 square feet, a four bedroom, three and a half bath house. Let's go check it out. Like I said, I love how clean and modern this house is. You're gonna see that in the inside, but you have great school systems here. Uh, this is on Northside ISD. The high school is Clark High School, but look at the look at those hills back there. Just beautiful. It is a little overcast today, but to get to all the shopping and restaurants, it is literally about five minutes from the front gate of the community, and I really like this house. All right, let's go on inside and check it out. Oh, before I do, I want to point out these garages right here. These garages are really nice. Um, definitely adds a lot of light, and we'll see that when we get inside. But this is just a beautifully landscaped house. Notice the metal roof and just a modern, clean design. I love the entrance to this house. Just a big, giant glass wall and a really nice door and other windows all around it. They have requested us to do the booties to make sure we don't track anything in. And just for confirmation, I follow directions very well. All right, let's head on inside this gorgeous home. Right when you come in, I love being able to be able to see outside from the front, but this is the main area. And I mentioned before, this is a very modern home and it really shows Loving the light fixtures does have shades that pull down because the sun does set Kind of off in this corner over here. So it's really nice to be able to pull down the shades especially during the summertime But you do have a giant office. And I love these dual barn doors and you've got just this really big office and just Looking out, if you're trying to work from home, it's going to be really nice to be able to just look out and see the beautiful landscape in this area and work in your own private office. Checking out these floors, just gorgeous floors. This is going to be your formal dining room area. Loving that light fixture up there. And in a house like this, you're probably gonna do some entertaining in and check out this kitchen for entertaining. You're gonna have people like hanging around this big, beautiful island. Lots of space for that to be going on. These are KitchenAid appliances, which are really nice. This is a gas community and check it out. You got your four main burners, you got your grill section and your little, uh, <coughs> Pardon me, griddle there <coughs> for the sink. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful granite. But you do have a big, beautiful single basin sink. Yes, they uh, did some fresh flower clipping. But this is your view from the sink, really nice. And I almost forgot to mention these big sliding doors. And I gotta tell you, these sliding doors are not cheap to have put into your house. But what it does is it really brings the outside in, especially on beautiful fall days, because as I'm filming this, we are in mid-November 2021. But you can just really open up and uh, get a view, a feel for the outside. Now this lot is a 0.66 of an acre. If you're looking to put a pool in, this area here might be a little small for a pool. However, you could use, put a pool up in this big open area. It'd be just perfect for a pool. But yeah, just a beautiful place. And I almost forgot to mention this gorgeous built-in outdoor kitchen area. All right, let's head back inside. I do like the separate little movie area or entertainment space if you're not want to watch the same thing on TV as in the main space, you can watch it in here. Very convenient. A 
Ooh, not all of this is KitchenAid because they've got a Viking fridge. And it's tough to get more high end than Viking. I'd have to look at the MLS listing to find out if the refrigerator conveys, but oftentimes everything is negotiable. But check out this pantry. That is a serious size pantry. I just love this main living space. All right, let's check out. I'm sure there's a powder room around here. There it is. Just a beautifully done powder room. They carry the wood floors throughout. I love how they framed that mirror there. Very nicely done. Oh, there's a little attention to detail. They even got the little thing done on the toilet paper roll. That's cute. All right, let's look at this laundry room. They've got a big giant laundry room and you've got to have your backup fridge because if you've got a lot of food, you need a place to store it, beautiful cabinets and a sink, very nicely done laundry room. And also on this wing of the house, you have your kind of designated guest bedroom because uh, yeah, you want your guests to be a little bit separated and you also want them to have their full bath, which this has. So you can have a full bathroom, beautifully done tub with the tile going all the way up. Very nicely done. And a decent sized closet. I've looked in there, it's just full of stuff. So no need to put that on video. All right, this is gonna be coming in from the garage. You do have your mud room area, perfect place for kids backpacks. Let's check out the garage. Now I mentioned before about the cool doors adding extra light. Check this out, this is what I was talking about. So you're gonna have plenty of light in your garage to do stuff. And it does have a water softener system already built in. So that's very nice. And I'll want to point out, all these doors are eight foot doors. So it's really kind of cool. All right, let's head over to the other wing of the house and check out the secondary bedrooms and the owner suite. Just want to point out the light fixtures in here. Love how they did this. All right, I'm gonna be trying to be careful not to show any family pictures because someone is living in here. So I definitely want to respect their privacy. All right, this is gonna be the first of the kind of secondary bedrooms. Good size room. Love they got the additional can lights in here. Let's see what this closet size is. Yep, pretty good closet size. All right, and this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom where both people in these rooms will share this bathroom. So they have a dual vanity, uh, the own uh, toilet, and then a shower tub combination. And I love the fact that they took the tile all the way up. We'll come into the other bedroom. It can be a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. But they do have like the screens that come down. That's really nice. And you don't really get that if you're going brand new that's all gonna be additional cost. So once again, good size closets. It has really nice Berber carpet in here. All right, now let's head on to the owner suite. Just back here, like I said, loving these eight foot doors. I love the fact that there's actually some separation coming to the owner's suite here. Like I said, they still have this blind that can be pulled down, but plenty of space in here. They've carried this wood floor all throughout the house, except for we got some tile in there, but just a beautifully done bedroom. And then into the owner suite bathroom. They got the dual, the French doors right there. And check out the size of this soaking tub. That is monstrous. Dual vanities, 
very elegantly done. I've actually done something similar to this on my personal house where I've got a shelf right there in the middle so you can really tuck away all of the stuff that you normally will see on countertops in a house that's been lived in. But this is a big, beautiful soaking tub. And then we got the car wash shower where you can walk in on one side, do your shower, and then come out the other side. That's why I call it the car wash shower. But check out this closet, because I know everybody loves the big closet, and this house does not disappoint. That is a big closet. Plenty of space for what you're doing. And like I said, lots of drawers. You can get yourself completely ready without ever leaving. But everything in this house just screams high end. And that's why they're asking, ooh, I put my sheet down. Uh, 1.29 million is what their asking price is as of mid-November 2021. All right, let's give one last good panoramic look of this main living space with the office, beautiful kitchen, dining room combo, and then we even talked about this fireplace, this nice linear fireplace there. Very nicely done. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this beautiful luxury custom home that was built in 2019 by Partners in Building. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, the best way to contact me is to click the calendaring link that I'm going to put in the description box, and we can schedule a phone call conversation. And if you're looking at this videos from out of state and considering moving to Texas, do not do this alone. It costs you nothing to use a real estate agent. So do not hesitate to click that link and schedule some time with me. This is a beautiful home in a great community with a great school district. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing them with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.